was born with it. This was in 1995 and no vaccine was available in my country. I'm okay with it, you know, but it's still a stigma, something very bad. I'm Adeline. I'm 23 years old. I like blue. I have hepatitis B. I learned that I had the disease when I was 15 years old. People automatically think that sex and drugs are the reason. That's why I didn't tell anybody for a long time. I think that a lot more people carry the virus. They just don't get tested because of stigma and a lack of knowledge. It's perfectly normal to live with this illness. I can't give it to you just by touching you. I didn't want to think that I was sick anymore, so I stopped the treatment, because then I didn't have to talk about it anymore. I didn't have to go to the doctor every month. I didn't have to get any more injections. I pretended that everything was okay. Well, at least until I started to feel sick again. I suddenly realized it's a big deal. If you don't treat this, you'll die from cirrhosis or cancer. Luckily, I'm in love with a man who understands my situation and lifts me up. So I went back on the treatment. I have 12 tattoos. I love them, but again, it's a stigma. People say, of course, that is how you got your hepatitis. And I tell them, no, I was born with it. My doctor is great. She knows that my tattoos have nothing to do with how I got hepatitis. But lots of other people, even other doctors, just assume that's what happened. I see my doctor every three to six months to have my viral load tested so I can live my life normally. Hang out with my friends. Eat, live, have fun. You can't drink alcohol. That's fine for me because everything else I can do. You are not alone. It's not the end of the world to have hepatitis. You can live with it, but you have to know.